This week in English language arts, we are working on cause and effect. So one of the things we did was we watched a video of this book called Stuck being read out loud. And in this book, there's a character named Floyd who gets his kite stuck in a tree and he goes to quite some extreme lengths to eventually get his kite unstuck from the tree. Uh, you can ask your, uh, your son or daughter um, for more details, or there's also a link in the uh, assignment that we have in Classroom for watching the video. So it's a pretty funny book. And we also talked about some other examples for cause and effect. And I pretty much said to students that cause and effect is when one thing happens, what are kind of the next series of events that happen? Um, a basic example is thinking of setting up dominoes. And then the cause is if you poke that first domino, all the other dominoes are gonna fall down as a result. Uh, these are a few examples that we also looked at. So if there's dark clouds appearing in the sky, that's the cause. The effect could that then be, it would be raining or snowing depending on the season. Uh, if a gate to a dog yard was left open, the effect could be that the dog gets out. Another effect could be more positively would be that someone would notice and maybe close that gate. Um, another one down here that unfortunately is something that's happening today is a driver was distracted in their car. Maybe they're looking at a phone when they're not supposed to, and the effect because could they they could cause an accident and you know cause some damage or hurt someone. Um, so those are just kind of real life examples that hopefully bring meaning to uh, this topic for students. Now what the students are going to be doing is they are going to pretend that they are Floyd and they have some item that they got stuck in a tree and they're gonna have to think of the steps that they would follow to get that item out of the tree. Now, this book is quite lengthy and goes through lots and lots of steps, uh, but it doesn't have to be that long in terms of describing the steps that would be involved to get the item from the tree. I want this to be a fun assignment and kids can um, add pictures as well if they'd like to, and there is a Google Doc for students to use for working on this assignment. So that is it for cause and effect.